Welcome to the Deal News Seller's Guide. Today we'll discuss Amazon restricted products. Are you missing out by not selling them? If you're an Amazon Marketplace seller who avoids restricted products, you could be missing an opportunity to pick low-hanging fruit. To get the facts on these misunderstood items, we consulted Amazon Marketplace expert Lisa Abel, the Director of Seller Services at Deal News. But first, let's discuss. What are Amazon restricted products? Amazon puts restrictions on selling certain items, but that doesn't mean they're prohibited. Restricted products must meet strict requirements in order to be listed on the marketplace. The term restricted products includes items that need pre-approval to be listed as well as anything you have to be certified to sell. Products that involve specific intellectual property rights are also restricted as well as items with chemicals that could be considered dangerous. Sadly, it's often not easy to tell if your product is a restricted item. According to Lisa Abel, sometimes you need to try to list something to find out if it's restricted. So, what's the difference between a restricted product and a prohibited product on Amazon? As a seller, you're likely to come across examples of both restricted and prohibited products. Like the name suggests, prohibited items are strictly banned from being sold on Amazon. Meanwhile, Amazon restricted items aren't entirely off-limits. If you're listing a restricted product on Amazon, you'll just have to jump through more hoops to get approval. For example, you might have to take a certification course to prove you know how to safely handle these products. Your seller account may also need to be in good standing, so you may have to improve your ranking or feedback levels. Let's get specific. What types of products are typically restricted by Amazon? Many restricted products are unsurprising. You'd face restrictions selling alcohol or dietary supplements almost anywhere, for example. However, other restricted item categories are more unusual. For instance, Selling certain types of fine art, home decor, jewelry, and even stamps can come with restrictions. What really makes Amazon's restrictions difficult to navigate is that your items can be flagged even if they aren't in violation. Some products could accidentally qualify as restricted because they're being evaluated by a machine algorithm rather than a live person. Abel told us she heard of listings for books being shut down because the title has toxic or poison in it. Let's say you're willing to jump through the hoops. How do you get approval to sell restricted items? If you want to get approval for selling an item on Amazon, there's really only one way to go about it. Follow the steps outlined on the Amazon Seller Central page that's called Categories and Products Requiring Approval. Then hope for the best. Abel explained the process like this. One must apply and possibly say a little prayer. If your listing isn't flagged as restricted through the Seller Central process, you can move forward but you're not necessarily out of the woods. As Abel points out, sometimes Amazon will pull a listing down after a lot of time. Their policies are ever-changing. One would have to reapply and possibly do a fire dance. Maybe walk on coals. Joking aside, Abel says she's heard of people needing to take courses specific to the item they want to sell, like pesticides, for example. Further, you must be able to comply with local laws and regulations for the items you're selling. This can vary by state, as well as by country, which results in some sellers refusing to ship products to areas with more restrictions. Amazon Seller Central offers this advice. In California, a broad range of products are subject to additional regulation. We encourage you to consult with your legal counsel if you have questions about the laws and regulations applicable to your products. And things get more complicated if you're selling restricted products through Fulfillment by Amazon. FBA has its own set of guidelines for prohibited and restricted products. Abel believes that FBA might even be more strict than non-FBA listings. She directed us to a page on Seller Central that says, Certain products may be eligible for sale on Amazon, but are not eligible for fulfillment by Amazon. FBA products must also adhere to specific expiration date and temperature-sensitive product requirements to be eligible for FBA. Given all this hassle, maybe you're wondering what happens if you sell a restricted item without Amazon approval. If you don't seek pre-approval and your listing is flagged, Amazon will have zero sympathy in many cases. If you're selling through FBA, this could have dire consequences for your stock. 
If Amazon finds that you violated its rules regarding restricted products, the company could destroy whatever flagged products remain in its warehouse. Even if you're shipping the items yourself, Amazon can opt to hold your money. Abel noted several cases where sellers had to hire lawyers to get their money from Amazon. This process is very lengthy and difficult, and there's no guarantee you'll be paid if this should happen. So when should you sell restricted items on Amazon? Between the extra steps you have to take and the scary scenarios of what could go wrong, you might be wondering who would ever try to sell Amazon-restricted products. But it's actually a good idea for some sellers. As long as you're willing to put in the work, Abel says it might be well worth it, especially if you're the manufacturer of a product. If you will take all the courses and provide all the proper documentation, then it's just another category to sell in, one which has much less competition, Abel says. Finally, a word of caution about reporting listings that are violating Amazon's policies. When you see a listing that's clearly violating Amazon rules about restricted products, your first instinct may be to report it. This is especially true if those listings are competing with your own. However, Abel cautions against flagging those accounts and items. She says, from what I understand, telling on someone else may often get you shut down. So often the victim gets the consequence with Amazon. If someone needs to report, using a third party might be your safest bet. That's all for this edition of the Deal News Seller's Guide. If you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a new one. If you want to learn how you can turbocharge your Amazon Marketplace revenue and gain access to the exclusive Deal News Amazon traffic network, head to marketplace.dealnews.com or send an email to getstarted at dealnews.com. Thanks for listening.